through. So predictions so far are holding steady, and it's going to be exciting once we get in. There is a different style of play, different types of gameplay from all over the region, but enough for me. I've talked enough. Let's throw it on over to Lupo and Monster as they take you into Middle East. Week two, match one. Sundown, thank you very much. Just a quick note to those at home. Occasionally, run, we run into issues uh, on the cast. Do your best to, to not get too worked up about it. You know, there's a lot of there's a, a lot of things at play here. So you have to imagine a 10-minute break is, is an insanely short amount of time to uh, to recover and get back into the games. As you can see here on your screen, Heat 2 Game 1 of the Middle East region just starting off. Tilted Town, a number of teams dropping down the bottom. Down here, pressure yeah. the bottom and the yeah. pump shotgun. An early blue pump shotgun in Tilted Down, as you can see, is honestly one of the most powerful oh, weapons to get. It's just it's so hard for it. It's so many up close fights, too. Oh, no. Oh, shit. We have some to freestyle. You know, you know you're leaving a blue pump, you're leaving with shockwaves, you're guaranteed heals. Like, guaranteed exactly. minimum. Exactly. Uh, not only that, you're probably going to get yourself some launch pads as well. So, this is the place to be, especially if you want to guarantee your loadout. Han comenzado de jugar, creo, me parece que están en Pocha, no hay que ir a el Porsche, because you know that you can just focus on gun skill and accuracy is such a big factor in building up an early loot but it's just the early loot game is so it's it's huge here like it's said, it feels like crazy everybody's going to come out stacked with a, a good set of materials in fact just because you can you can pick up all that stuff out of the chest and off of every elimination if you do get dun, challenged dun, dun, it, dun, it's, dun. It's arguably one of the better spots to drop right dun, 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 yeah, dun, 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 dun. bring that double barrel out of tilted town because there are some rules in play where the double barrel shotgun only spawns in Tilted, but you can you can even take the weapons out of the place as well. And Third time's a charm, there we go. No, I was gonna say, top. he's having a little bit of a struggle there, trying to get up and over. He's got to track down that space bar, runs away sometimes. He wants to find a controller again. My apologies, controller gang, love you. Control, if anything, controller gang has the, the best movement we've seen so far. These guys can go 360 on the Clearly you don't watch my stream, Monster, I appreciate it though. Yeah. But all right, now we're looking at Happy Hamlet here. A little bit of a standoff. Moon, Minzu, and Kinji here have that high ground. There's three teams here. The prediction from the third one. Uh, the I hate to see that. If I had to guess, I actually did a ME, a Middle Eastern VOD review. They land towards Junkers. I'm not sure if I'm going to stay here. No, yeah, I'm going to stay here. Creo que es la última partida. A todos tienen cero puntos, vale. Ani no chile es diez puntos o señor no sé. Creo que todos han empezado con cero puntos en otra partida. Vale, vale, yo lo entiendo. Pero por qué no sé. A Pachi Mu Ani tal yo le entiendo. Like this, look at that. Kiji immediately flicks up, gets the knock on Info, who's trying to shockwave from uh, you know, over the top. But you have to understand these, these players in the Middle East region have been asking for a lot of time. They've been watching the competitive experience for the Middle East region. But now he has two points. I don't know how to kill him. 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 Golden tap, one tap. You pick up those three eliminations. I'd say that's one hundred percent worth it. Bubble shields and rotation out. Team moving up on top of the hill. He's actually hit with a little headshot right there and ripped apart all of his shield 
now forced only down to bandages, and this is a battle that they have to take on their heels here. And I like what they're doing. They're backing up as a squad, trying to use this time to also gather some mats in the process. This team is not letting up. You have the NL squad right here, Nella, Easy, and Saya Zine right here, or Saya's Ren, excuse me. Ну, так я не сказал, 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 they have the advantage at this point, picks up that elimination up to 125 total HP. Nella gets knocked, Wild Gamer picking up that elimination. And an RPG in there is going to be huge. Tack shotgun shots back to back, finds the third one, and that is a solid three eliminations for Sai Wild Gamer. Making it up for the loss of Sai down there in the bottom of the floor. on the heels right there, and they turn that battle around. Very well done. Not Sai, I've actually had the pleasure with future talking. Uh, as I've, you know, browsed around the Middle Eastern region. So good to see him pulling up and performing here. As they now are pretty much clear. And they have the zone. They're in the clear. They have the zone. They can get this revive off. So Silence is going to be able to come back in the game as he gets hit up on the reboot man. Huge value. That being said, the inventory of Sai has two green tactical shotguns in there. Some bandages. AR and that TAC SMG. Lucky landing. Looking like it is calm at this point a lot of builds but no competition left down here as these this trio is going to be able to pick back up actually fin finish looting up down here farm any materials they can get out of it they're in the safe zone the circle still has 38 seconds before it closes so they're not feeling too much pressure in any way right now, it a good buffer materials healing any, uh, any uh, leftover loot that might be down here make their way out of the next safe zone without much issue Meanwhile, Super, Sammy, and Dream pushing from outside of the storm. The far east drop here in the desert. Such a weird place to play as well. As well. The moisty palms where you, you can't just crouch freely. Короче, кто ж меня жует, я не знаю, что это. Just in case, you know, you don't want to make any mistakes there. And honestly, if you do that, you're kind of in the advantage, right? You, you, uh, you set yourself up for... Uh, Еще раз тут за межуны, короче, простите. О, это с кем мне очень нравится, короче, подождите секунду. Я прорыв моменту. Who's waiting nearby, and you can see over at the other kind of crater there to the left where you can farm up all the stone. That's probably where the rest of that guy's duo is. Most likely, I should say here. But someone does see the, yeah, see the rotation, they're pushing on in. We have a trio coming in. I say now's the time. You have people just coming in from the storm. If you think you're in the better position, pushing is basically a no brainer. You see here, that's fight. Stay in. Я знал здесь. Estoy otra vez aquí. Está hablando con mi madre. Ya voy a ir a mi mamá. Valirse. Matar al cuello. A ver, a ver. Pasmotros, pasmotros, pasmotros. Esto es increíble. Vamos a mirar, vamos a mirar quién va a ganar. Materiales. Hay muy pocos materiales, de eso te mala, toca 1500, de materiales solo hay 1500. Arizona Square, Martina. Seems to be pushing all the way south. So the later you move, the more congested this rotation will be. The harder it will be for you later in the game to really want to get down here early, especially when a zone favors one side pretty heavily. Oh. I'm looking for Nazir to hit a snipe shot here. He keeps pulling that heavy sniper out and taking a look. Hasn't gone for it yet. I would say. Positional. 
No sé, no sé, no sé, no sé las personas que son las diferentes. Ah, bueno, ahora sí. No sé si es una foto. Ah, ni una hermana. Ni Billy Razum ni Billy Razum. Creo que no estaban juntos o sí que estaban juntos. Yo qué sé. Yo no sé nada. Второй сезон играют, играют. Он и да, там брадус. Подожди, спереми. Wow, no normal, no, 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 esto как он себе хп не потратил, а это наверное его друг кинул, поэтому не забрала бомба дымовуха. Ха, у кого-то э, по жизни 190, э, 100 хп и 99 счета. Алгин тиене де вида, 100 де вида и 99 де ходу, мола. Este creo que no es esta, yo думаю, esto no es, esto no es. Wow, hay curaciones que tiene. Capiés, no hay lichín que no hay miedo. Da fila, un montón. Checa la que bomba. Pum, 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 pum. Один только умер, пипец. Один умер за две минуты, это... Что? Как он убил? Что? Кумуля Матану, ки? Ки хакер. Какой он хакер? Как он его убил? Это же... Что? Это нереально, это импульсивно для Матарля Фи. Пипец. Мы будем смотреть это до конца. Будем смотреть до финал. Uno vale. Ha matado solo uno en, en tres minutos. Ubile только одного за две минуты. Три. Он хп себе не потратил. Лах какой-то, может быть, может быть, когда ты падаешь здесь, у тебя нету... О, видите, у него 199 хп. Может быть, когда ты падаешь, тебе хп не... Пофиг на хп. Пофиг, ser que cuando te caes, da igual la vida. Ser que te caes, si, por daño... Ser que no hay daño de caída. Un cabuto virbi, ¿usted? Se mata a uno aquí. Pero creo que hay daño de caída. En mi caso estoy a su run al padrino. Un cabuto virbi, ¿usted? 
Joder, mirar cómo se ha, se ha curado como una bestia. On tak pochyli, už se tak buta, tak buta je on taky byl. Jsem teď jedný materiál, než jsem to dal kterého kterými. Normálno, u něho tak materiál. Bueno, bueno, no está mal eso, el material es cuanto tiene. One player. Ya vemos. Si dice pech, hasta si dice pech. Pipi, eso, ¿viste que cago ni va a obvio? ¿Viste cómo lo ha matado? Con los cars. Guau. ¿Viste que cago ni va a obvio? ¿Viste que cago ni va a obvio? ¿Viste que cago ni va a obvio? VP, 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 VP. Pam 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 pam. Pam 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 pam. Prosta, krugomich, krugomich. Que están por todos lados, lados por todos, eh. Они везде просто. Просто везде. Один раз в ТФ э, в одиночку его стреляли э, из автомата. Семь людей. Семь. Семь. Нормально, что его убьют, если семь стреляют на него. Нормально, когда маты на ТФ, если ли паранси ты персонаж. Нормально, 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 нормально. Comando normal, que yo que sé. Ah, una budget firver que mucho ya en YouTube pokazu. ¿Qué? ¿Cómo han dado? ¿Te imaginas? ¿Cómo han dado? ¿Cómo han dado? ¿Cómo? Pero es que cómo le da, cómo da eso, tío, no lo entiendo. ¿Cómo le puede dar eso? Es que yo no lo entiendo. No, no lo puedo entender. ¿Cómo le da tantas? 200 de vida creo Este tiene bastante materiales A ver, a ver Dale, dale, pues vamos a tener uno No, no, no Pero cual, no, pero cual No mal Mola, mola Нормально, они так вырубили. Что? Он гранаты четырех где-то вырубил. Что? Он, он где-то три от, от гранаты убил. Почти пять. Самотал Кассия Синко, а трес он А трес самотал. Три он не каса убил. А два он ранил. Se mataba a tres y a dos se le ha dejado heridos. Bueno, le ha quitado a dos. Cien de vida. Pasamos si te que tú crees. Vamos a mirar ahora quién va a ganar. Ani Lublach y Borachitza. Le gustan ser muy juguetones. Me gusta hacer junto, me gusta hacer junto. Juguetón, 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 juguetón. Juguetón, juguetón. Juguetón, juguetón. 
Ва! Вот рынка. У него как плясок убил. Нормально. А зона это снимает дофига. Ва, убили их просто, просто в плясок. Нам мотал кому сифрян тортита депатала. Вот этого почти вообще нету материалов, которые мы смотрели, повар. Нормально, нормально. Вообще последнее осталось. Уже поросло. Ну, ну ролик будет где-то почти час. И видео сара кому красиво на ура. Теперь камера Трампа может съесть ловушку. Съесть ловушку. Ах, одно убили. Карточку сейчас вообще не нужно. Ее не нужно сейчас. Пять остались, остались вообще не никто. Остались пять столько. Кидан Фурлосинку. Дэнмэн Тэй, три персона. Осталось пять людей от... От печи. От 93 остались. Два и не выиграли эти. Он засранца. Кеморро. Кем повезло. Кесвертый Антониду. Бра. Думаю, что это финал. Если это финал, не финал, тогда это пипец как. Не круто. Nice. 
everything's on the plate, ready to go, ready to get feasted on. So Little East right now for me is just uh, is, is really nice. We're going to be going into a clip, actually, of an early game, I believe, Happy Hamlet game. Uh, we're going to dive in with Kinzel, I believe. We'll see how he plays out. Actually, no, this is a power clip. There we go. Kinji. Kinji up in Happy Hamlet. It's going to be really dope to see him actually cut out four steam on height. We talk about the metagame, right? When Shockwaves first got introduced, it was a straight pump or combat shot upwards. It took, it took people time to get used to that AR spray. He has it in his inventory already. These guys are caught up. They know. Ramp edits. Practicing creative, right? Very ingenuity. Uh, a lot of ingenuity there, as well as wall replacing for protection. It's not raw gameplay. It's actually curated practice, and they're brand new to the actual international scene, which is amazing, you know, baiting your teammates out for HP, going for finishes, even support players like Moon know exactly what to do. Now, the star trio that won that previous game, Power FHD, knowing how to use and take angles properly, has traps in front of him, doesn't matter, knows to stay for those right hand peaks, knows when to engage, low HP, still does not matter. No pressure taken because these guys have practiced. This is not their first rundown, but it's, it is their first showdown of exactly what they can do, right? No match here has the elims low health still knows exactly when to look up what to loot when to use your utility and when to support your teammate and still have a presence in the game which is once again something players learned a lot later so these guys are caught up with the meta game they do not finish off they know their exact win conditions as well and when to drop them through amazing gameplay we're gonna now tune in and see what else they can do on the middle east i'm gonna be picking it up with my man zeke coming in we're both gonna hit that Cast. We're going to see exactly how these guys go down. We'll relive that breakdown actually together live. Zeke, what did you think about their presence compared to the rest of the international regions? Man, I think we still have quite a bit more to see from this region. I think you did an amazing breakdown there. Uh, I think the ceiling for me, me, ME is still very high. We haven't quite seen what they're fully capable of, but I think over the weekend, we'll definitely see it. I'm also excited that we get to finally hang out, Shy. Shy Wager and Zeke. She, we have come together. That was great, actually. That is a true thing of, of the game. But anyway, the games are ready. Let's hop right in, Fortnite fam. We're jumping out the battle bus. We're gonna begin in this game. I can't wait to see what happens here in this game. Because remember, these happened over this morning. Earlier on, while everyone wants to sleep, including myself, I slept like a baby. It's kind of, not, not entirely true, but anyway, we're getting into it. We can see now where people are trying to land early. So, I mean, you know, you've got the pleasant there. You've got a team of junk. Uh, the old villain factory, you've got some at Snobby, some flying even over Greasy. There's still quite a, a bit of teams, though, still that are airborne. Yeah, see, one thing you mentioned earlier, Zeke, was the whole idea of these games happening this morning, right? For me, chewing gum, you leave it on the table untouched, still good to eat later in the day. There's so much flavor in these games we're having yet to see. No, seriously, man. Like, once again, we're tuning with power. Hey, look at this pattern, right? I, I kind of, you know, went to the uh, FHD slash Mongo comparison. These guys are in retail. Mongols in retail. You know, we, we had uh, Monsters, Lupo, saying these guys have been waiting for a long time, right? There's so many bots they've been watching. They, they have the knowledge, man. They have the power. Yeah, and now look, they land over here on the, uh, what do we like to call this? The top side is black top. So residential. This is residential. Yeah, there yeah. we go. I, I literally came up with it as you <laughs> What's wrong with me today? Uh, but they are on the residential side, which is good. I, I personally, I, and this just might be like my thinking, but I feel like the loot's a little better on residential side than blacktop. Would you agree? Or do you think uh, it's the other way around? I think that there's more, there, there's sparser loot on the blacktop side. We're looking at Tilted right now, but I'm gonna keep talking about what we saw uh, in retail. There's sparser loot on the blacktop yeah, side, but like residential, um, does have, more. I think, more drop spots on the floor loop. Mm -hmm. But you know, we got those bendings on black tops and you have more of a uh, horizontal advantage on everyone you see. Yep. So it's a lot easier to kind of, you know, pick a game plan on black tops. With residential, you kind of have to all in all the time. Yeah. Because if you do get engaged on, like once again, you're, you're all in, right? We've seen an OCE, X2 twins, they always end up having a fight, some type of highlight. It's really cool. Right now though, you know, Loop World and Monster went over Tilted Town, the advantages, disadvantages of building and not building. What are your, how, how do you think player opinion has been of Tilted Town from the, from the beginning to the end of how people treat the job. I think originally people were maybe a little uh, taken off guard by the fact that you could not build until the town. It was like, wait, but the whole thing is that you have to build and whatnot. And it's like, well, yeah, that's still a very big aspect of the game. But now there is a POI dedicated to you testing your shooting skills, right? How good are your angles and your peaks? How good are your rifling skills or even your close quarter combat skills? 
and that's what Tilted offers uh, in its current state. But we're back on board with the Power Trio, the Trio of Power. They have themselves a Brute. They are looking to take it to this other Brute across the way shy. Now, what's crazy here is, remember, they have these laser designators, so they are the other Brute's fully aware. They're like, hey, there's another one. They're moving toward us. We need to try and take this down. But Power's on 18 effective HP, and it's just not enough. They're so, it's so easy to be focused down in the Brute right now. So, unfortunately, Pal uh, FHE is going to go down, and I don't think there's anything else his, his duo, his the other duo can do about this, right? They just kind of have to let him go down and regroup and assess the situation. NM7 does have the sniper, so if he can get a cheeky shot off, he can down someone immediately. But like, look, the other brute spawn like, no, 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 friend, we're gonna hunt you down. Don't worry, don't get too far. Absolutely, like, brute combat is one thing that also has its own metagame, and like, these guys know too, right? Focus the driver 100%. Usually the people you put into the brute early game are those who don't have the same amount of brute. We're looking at a pump, attack SMG, gold sniper on NM7. But FHD, all you have are zapper traps, a bunch of gray items, very easily focusable. And right now, it, you know, their enemy team is a big and hard focus. I'm pretty sure it's the ASMR guys, Spy and Wagner. These guys are just coming in with a big brute of their own, forcing straight up gaining all the loot as well one big thing about having a root in retail it's like butter on toast perfect combination even jam on toast anything but mayo uh, it's it, it, you, you get these loot spawners so much faster with the stop mechanic as well as the rockets granted that they were nerfed at one point you still have so much damage to instantly just get these launches over and over again the biggest downside to retail being you spend so much time in there right? you negate that you have the perfect setup Enti entirely in the whole game. Yeah, and then you can kind of take that brute into later game and use that to kind of uh, mess with other trios out there. I like this too. The the ASMR trio. ASMR. They are just running big spawner. Chai, what is the boot doing looking like if you sat there and retail and destroyed all boot spawner? <laughs> I personally think that um, a lot of launch pads, a lot of campfires, and a lot of uh, ARs everywhere for you. I like, I like that very much. But now, we are across the way because look at this, Minzu and Kinji. Uh, this trio, we saw an absurd amount of snipes last game. Now, many of them, they couldn't follow up on just based on their, where they were. But look at this, he drops down and he gets counter drop. That is a zapper. He's got to be careful. It's okay. All right. I thought, <laughs> I thought that wasn't Moon. I saw a second <laughs> shot from the right. And I was like, if that is this enemy trio, like, Minzu's gonna be eliminated. There's nothing they can do, but it's okay. Moon was there, he had the assist, and look at the loadout. It's just shining, a ray of colors. Yeah, uh, Happy Hamlet, I broke it down in one of the job shop breakdowns. Bending's galore, so many chests, right? You eliminate as much of the loot pool as possible to what you need to keep looting over and over again. You know, loot drops, chest spawns, every vending that's available to you as well. You have to pick and choose what you want. You use it in the fight as well really fast and there's just one other team contesting you. Um, looks like these guys are the kings of happy all the way in the Middle East, which is, which is huge. We have now um, two big things as well that a lot of people don't realize in the game is when you have kings of a drop spot clash against each other, you don't really see where people come from, right, in the end game when they're on height. Yep. But now that we know that we have the ASMR boys and having all of retail, we have this rainbow loadout on every single person from Happy, we can now see the storyline build up all the way to the end game of these two star trios at the moment in this game. Yeah, I mean, these guys are looking very, very good, but look who else is here. We've got two trios just in front. There is one player from a trio left in Old Yonder, there's a trio making their way over a hill by that long ravine there. Okay, so it's Sazerin there, who's by himself. I'm not sure what he's still doing there. It looks like he might just be crouched, just potentially trying to loot there. You got Simar, JD, and Cake Pack, Cake Park, Dash, Cake Pack, Dash, I like that, <laughs> like that. I do enjoy some cake as well. Uh, but now they just get to kind of walk into Old Yonder. I mean, there's obviously gonna be no loot. They could farm up for materials if they wanted. All right, I take that back. There was one piece of loot which was just the ammo box. My apologies, didn't see it. But now they're they're right here on the edge of Storm, right? Yeah. Uh, the new safe zone, so they're probably probably feeling pretty comfortable because they do even have a shockwave, which look like they have a shockwave apiece, and they even have a jump pad, uh, the launch pad to get them to safety. So it's all going their way here in the early game. 
Yeah, there's an absolute skirmish all the way in the snow side. We've kind of seen things develop, I guess, even in Middle East as well. A lot of the people like to land split. They like to be up in the air. So to set a stage for you, Zeke, it's always just, you know, a bunch of people playing desperate with a bunch of trios that have already finished their fights. So you can imagine, you know, how scared people are split off. You can see exactly how they rotate in. And you do see a little bit more survivability coming out of snow side towards the bones over here, towards the big monster skull. But at the same time, um, there is, you know, those mid-game fights that do break down at times. Right now, we don't see any. Um, we can drop into just seeing the options that Poggle has now to move towards, I guess it's the desert biome, towards the bottom. Yeah, I mean, there's still so many players left. 75 and 26 of 31 trios left. Don't forget, we want to hit top 12 before we start seeing any placement points at all. And we're right now in Storm Circle 2. So there's still so many players that, are, that have to be eliminated before this end game, right? I, I mean, I don't imagine we'll see, like, Storm Circle 750 people left, but I wouldn't be surprised if we did see that. There's still so much that can happen in this game. Uh, I'm curious to see what's happening back at retail. You know, we, we saw that trio, the ASMR trio. They're pretty looted, and I'd assume with that brood, like, they probably cleared retail, like, super, super fast. I want to know where they went from there, because right now, even, like, uh, Seagull, Toggle, and Eska, they have no eliminations. Their loadouts... It's not shambles, but it's like borderline shambles, I would say. It's 100% shambles if it's a big zone, but you, you touched on it a little bit, right? Eliminations, when do you actually really want them? What is your win condition? So what would you say if you had shield bubbles and shockwaves, the different options people have towards the middle or end game that they can use to actually, you know, come through for elims or play for placement? Mm, that's a good question. That's tough. I think it depends on, because like everyone knows what heat they're in, so you know who, if you're paying attention, and you're doing your homework like you should be, you know the other people in your heat. You know potentially where they're going to look to land. So like if I'm this trio, I'm not going anywhere near retail, right? Because we already know ASMR trio is there, and we even saw uh, the power trio as well. Uh, so, I mean, right now they're near Salty, which it doesn't look like looking at the minimap, no one's there. Everyone's already rotated out, right? They're trying to get themselves in the safe zone. Looking at, actually, on the top left, you could kind of see... So right now, look, they're just on the outside making their way in. So we're back on power, and it looks like it's just Young by himself. This is a brutal spot to be in. He probably definitely does not have their cards. They're not getting rebooted. There's no way. So right now, Young just has to do anything he can. I mean, I'd imagine he's probably wanting to play it slow, right? He's like, look, if I can even just play for placement and get us those points... I, I, if, if he can find an awesome pick, great, but that's just like backseat. Right now it's survival mode. Yeah, the worst sound anyone could have heard um, for, from him on the server for his situation is that shield break sound, the, the whole, the whole you know, desynchronization of the shield. So right now he's worried. He knows shields around him know that he's worried. His entire plan at the moment is to use, you see, half his loadout's already gone, right? He have, we, we talked about when to use your loadout, when is your win condition, do you want to win? You said it, Zeke, it's full survivability at the moment, and Yonks has to go to the Bronx and even further now to even win the game, right? Like, zero elims, the easiest thing to do... If I was bad, it was not my fault. Eh, sorry, sorry. If I was hearing and smiling, then sorry. ...to fight against three other people. If you separate it into entities on the map, you only have a maximum of 33 on the map, 31, 33. So, in this game, it's supposed to be, I think, 26 out of 31. We're kind of far from placement, but separating it into just looking at singular entities moving around the map and playing placement that way, right? Mm. Using your mats against one entity rather than three separate ones in a fight. You can then kind of, you know, segment out your loot, your mini, your, your 